30 Minute Music Hour. I'm Andy Moore from Milwaukee and all points beyond. It's Peter Mulvey. It is a warm summer evening, I can just hear the knuckleball sweet. It is a warm summer evening, I hear the knuckleball sweet. I hear the clover hum along, I hear the rain clouds finding their feet. All oh, this town is a talisman, it's a vanishing breed. This town is a talisman and we are a vanishing breed. But our song is a first chair viola lost in the weeds. He is drinking Sandy Man Poured down at the old cafe Billy C is drinking Sandy Man Poured down at the old cafe The little river goes by slow The little river likes it that way Sal is barefoot in the backyard Calling out to that star above the pine there she is, barefoot in the backyard, calling out to that star above the pine. And for once the star answers, Sal, you are the wine, you are the wine, you are the wine. Franklin is the ace He is a wily sport Franklin is the ace He is a wily sport He's going down to the old cafe To sit with Bill And drink the Sandy Man Port <laughs> And it's a warm summer evening I hear the knuckleball sweet It is a warm Summer evening, don't you hear the sweet? I hear the clover hum along, I hear the rain clouds finding their feet. The clover hums along in these summer evenings, are where we used to meet. These warm summer evenings are where we once and again shall all meet. If you think we shall all meet, which I do. Thanks. That's my uh, that's my tune for Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Um, to my knowledge, that's pretty much it as far as tunes about Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. There might have been some earlier in the preceding century. We'll see. You know that old lyric, mention my name in Sheboygan. They used to write songs about towns. Well, that's my song about a town I've been playing in for 20 years now. Uh, I mentioned, I name-checked all the people in the town, but I changed their names to protect the innocent. Though I did not change Billy's name at all, owing to a lack of innocence on his part. Uh, and here's a tune. This is an old song of mine. I'm fairly convinced that I wrote this tune. Although I may be proven wrong at some point. Um, I play in Ireland a great deal, and over the years I've come to realize that this tune sounds pretty ripped off of the old Irish fiddle tunes, so... One of these days I'll be playing there. And someone will say, you know, no, you didn't write that. Frankie Lane wrote that back in the 1840s. That's a melody called The Milkmaid's Buxom Nephew. But for now, I call this Black Rabbit.
Fantastic. Thank you. Very nice. It's hard to come in um, and, and interrupt after such a sweet instrumental like that, but I know everybody wants to get to know you a little bit, uh -huh. at least those who don't already. Thanks. Thanks for, Thanks for having me. Well, it's, it's great to have you. The, uh, tapping as you do harmonics, uh, who taught you that? Uh, I kind of just made that up. Do, do a mean, little bit now. It, yeah, that, uh, just that whole... Uh, I mean, the guy that really... The guy that really sort of exploded the, the borders of the guitar for a lot of us was a guy named Michael Hedges. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it was Michael Hedges and uh, hearing him on records and then going out to bars around Milwaukee and seeing Willie Porter doing things that sort of, um, it's almost like sort of a little physical sorcery, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And, and, I, and uh, I thought, I could do that too. I could totally do that, you know? And, and so you taught yourself. Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I, 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 have take, I took many years of lessons um, uh, from a, a guy named Norb Kaminsky in Milwaukee. He would teach me like the chords to Beatles tunes. So I spent the first 10 years just strumming chords and learning about the way harmony and structure and rhythm work. And then I got into the, Was the Wisconsin Conservatory. I took some lessons with Peter Roller. And then I heard Willie Porter play and I thought, that's it. I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to be a songwriter, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, never looked back. No, I never did look back. It's been 20 years now. So. Well, and part of your musical path took you to Ireland, and where, where you spent some time. Talk about that. Yeah, I, I, I lived there and I went to school at St. Patrick's College in Maynooth, which is the, it's the National Seminary, but I was a lay student there. And uh, I wasn't much of a student of any kind. <laughs> I mostly just cut classes and I went to Grafton Street, where all the street musicians were, and I would just spend the weekends there. Hang. There was this whole cadre of guys because the Waterboys record, This Is The Sea, had just come out. And there were all these street musicians and they would sing This Is The Sea and Sweet Thing, the Van Morrison tune. And, and What uh, was the culture like among the other players? Were was, people it, friendly? Yeah, very inclusive. What about as an American? Were, were they curious about you? They were. Uh, this was in 89 and so it was just before the economic boom. Ireland in that day and age was kind of almost a second world country. But funny enough, I met this songwriter and singer, this guy named Leslie Key, because I'm walking down the street and he's playing Blister in the Sun by the Violent Femmes. Like they had, I mean, they loved all kinds of music. Yeah. So that, that 
tune had made its way to the Dublin street. Isn't that something? And were you able to tell him that you had that Milwaukee connection? I know. I went to, I went to Rufus King High School where Gordon Gano, who wrote the tune, went, you know. And, and so we hit it off. And I, and I have to admit, we worked up a, a mean version of Hotel California together, too, you know. I mean, we were not above cliche in those days. In Milwaukee, the latchkey to the musical world. It you is. Sunk it. Yeah. Liberace, the violent femmes, arrested development. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you, you learned the, the, the two hands on the neck yeah. from the likes of Willie and listening to Michael Hedges. What did you learn as a songwriter over in Ireland? Wow. Yeah, um, early on, I didn't learn much. You know, early on, I was 19 years old, mm. and I was writing all these angst-ridden, you know, tunes, and uh, I learned that they didn't work nearly as well on the street as, like, rock and roll tunes. Mm -hmm. But I've been touring Ireland now for the past 10 years as a grown-up, and... Um, you know, there's this combination of sort of saltiness and romance that you get in Ireland. And that's sort of like you just got, you just got a little spray of ocean in your face, you know what I mean? And you're awake. And here I am on the filthy streets of Cork, you know, walking around talking to people who look lively and engaged and intelligent. And that's, I guess that's what I've always been trying to write, is trying to sort of summon up that, those two things, the sort of highfalutin and the lowfalutin. The small facts of life, I think you call it. Um, uh, I've, I've read. This is something that, oh, yeah. that you've described your music as. Have I? Well, yeah. I must be. A, I, 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 I've forgotten it, but I, <laughs> well, I wouldn't well, be surprised. Set up the next song for us. What, what are you going to play? What am now? I going to play? A, a fairly new tune. This is a. I wrote this with Timmy Guerin, who's a, obviously a fine Italian dude. Um, he lives in Somerville, Massachusetts. And uh, when I'm stuck with a song, like for this tune, all I had was a chord progression and I had some grunting noises. That's generally how they start for me. I go to Timmy's house and he has, he is so prolific. He's got a room full of crumpled up lyrics, like on, on the piano and between the cushions of the couch and in the diaper bag, there's like 500 notebooks and 500 lyrics. So it's kind of like mulch and he goes sifting through the mulch and you just sit with him. And, and you wait, and by the end of it, you have a tune. And this is where this song came from? Yeah. From of, Tim's uh, Mulch. From Tim's Mulch. Okay, all right. It's called uh, Kids in the Square. They got a pretty good idea of what they're looking for. So they got a pretty good idea of what they'll find. You don't have to go very far these days. Find yourself a made-up mind Oh, the man-made man He's driving big shiny wheels Way too fast Down a rainy stretch of road You know the story You know how this turns out Wheels up in the dark and cold Wheels up in the dark and cold But those kids down in the square a dancing like they just don't care they know it all washes away in the morning rain the morning rain oh we can ride for a while on this big blue wave of plastic and petroleum and sodium light but chickens run in circles, circles are getting smaller, and the fox is in the town tonight. The fox, he's on the town tonight. But those kids down in the square are dancing like they just don't care. Because they know it all washes away in the morning rain. The morning rain. Oh, Jesus, Billy Butler, things sure do fall apart. If you could only see that rough beast slouching now, because our middle has no center, our up has got no down, and we ain't got no brains, no how. And the rifle's got no safety, and the barn has got no door, and the old man has got no coat for when it snows. And that has got no this, and 
this has got no that The emperor has got no clothes He's got no clothes But those kids down in the square Still dancing like they just don't care They know it all washes away in the morning rain All those kids out in the streets They raise up their hands, they just keep moving their feet Because they know it all washes away in the morning rain the morning rain That's Kids in the Square that I wrote with Timmy. And now here's a, here's a tune I wrote, uh, wow, about 15 years ago. At the time, it was the lowest note I'd ever used. Actually, what happened was uh, I was on Martha's Vineyard. I just moved out to the Boston area. And this uh, uh, singer-songwriter was playing Time of the Season by the Zombies, you know. Uh, what's your name? And who's your daddy? Is he rich? And I came up with this crazy low tuning to accompany her as almost sort of a bassist and rhythm guitarist. And then I thought, you know, why don't I just write my own tune using that structure? So this is called If Love Is Not Enough. <laughs> How many should have, how many should have not, so many I wish we had lie between us. For to basically well intentioned people, it seemed to me our failures just to mean us. Is it a lack of self regard? It should not be so hard. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know. If love is not enough, then what's enough? I am listening. If love is not enough, then what keeps the moon bright? What keeps the ocean glistening? All you say is you, I say it's me. If love is not enough, well then what? can this be when I get up to see the powers that be? I know there's only one question that I will bring. I will say, hey, how can two sane people look at the very same love and see two different things? Oh, it hurts to say the heavy stuff, so we say it lightly. I am amazed at how often I catch us both Smiling if only slightly But it's saddening Or oh, it's maddening I wanna know mm. If love is not enough Then what's enough? Mm, I am waiting Tell me, is there something I should know About the thin ice On which the survivors are skating? These days you say it's me I know it's me If love is not enough Well then what else can this be? So we go on, we'll put on the brave face, but it make me want to scream. I quit, I give up, I will crawl my way up out of this bad, bad dream. Because I love you still, oh I love you still, oh I love you still. If love is not enough, then what's enough? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. 
I'm sick of the burns on my body from the good loves that seem to explode every time, every time, every time, every time they get near me. What else can I say? What else can he say? What else can I say? What else can he say? If love is not enough, then we will go on loving anyway. <laughs> you make the best out of that low end on oh, that. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of addicted to it. I, I, it's, <laughs> it's something I worked out about, about 15 years ago, you know, of that idea of using the, the lowest registers of the instrument and really expanding them south and south and south. And then in the past 10 years, I went through this whole thing of, I wrote a whole record in standard tuning, just approaching the guitar as the guitar was built. And, and coming at it from that angle. So it, I feel like I've crawled in through sort of the back kitchen window of guitar playing, <laughs> and I finally made my way all the way to the foyer, you know? There I am <laughs> in the foyer going, oh, this is where people come in. They say, hey, you dust your feet on the, you know, so it's been interesting. Yeah, the low, low end, and then capo, you know, up, it's just a, it's a dynamite mix. It's fun, Yeah, it's fun. And you even got some 70s, uh, back shout out in there I think it's, that's, it's sort that's of a nice that's, tune. It's my folk disco tune you know you gotta <laughs> you know every once in a while I'll put a little bit of the theme from Shaft in it you know or Jungle Boogie or you know. <laughs> Depending on what mood you're in. Exactly. You've got this people will see this episode at various times here in the coming months but you've got a full plate of touring and, and uh, give me the thumbnail on where you're headed this spring and into the summer. Um, the big burst in the spring uh, after today after the taping I go home and play one last bar gig in Milwaukee and then I'm flying down to uh, Austin doing four days in Texas fly home the next day I fly to the East Coast play Boston New York Vermont uh, New Jersey fly home drive out do Michigan and Missouri and Kansas drive home fly down to San Diego uh, that area and play Southern California all the way up to Bellingham Washington which is just south of Vancouver in in Canada so I, I've heard uh, musicians who travel that hard say that the travel is a work oh, and the absolutely. plane is a payoff but playing those many shows has got to be hard work too. It, it's a different kind of work it really is um, if you can find a way to charge charge the show batteries in the process of depleting the travel batteries, if you know what I mm -hmm. mean, you can mm -hmm. kind of you kind of get this thing going where calibrate. Yeah, you can use the day to get uh -huh. yourself ready to the show, to do the show, you know, and then you can use the show to get yourself ready to get out of town. You, know? you got yourself on a tour last summer. It was last summer, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, you you didn't use uh, planes, trains, or automobiles. What? Tell us about that. It was. Uh, it was right at the tail end of high summer. It was called the Look Ma No Gasoline Tour. And uh, I spent the summer getting in shape to do this. And then I did eight shows just ar here around Wisconsin on a bicycle. And I had a little trailer for, for the guitar. And I had saddlebags for the clothes. And I, it was about 500 miles across the course of 10 days. And it was so tiring. You <laughs> <laughs> say, weren't there some nights when you, you, know, you oh, got all plugged in and you were like, I, I'm dead? Actually, no. That was that was the perfect example of what I'm talking about, where I would be physically depleted, but I felt like I had all the energy in the world for the show because it's almost it's a different kind. It's a different battery, you know. I felt yeah. like the one, depleting the one battery charged the other. It was, and it was also, it was so liberating to step off the 20th century train. I'm going to do this again this September. I'm going to do this every September until my knees quit, because um, the bike tour. Oh yeah, it's just. You know, if I were younger, I would think, oh, dun, 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 you know, I'm changing the world, but uh, I'm not younger. And I'm, when I realize what I'm changing is just myself, you know, I mean, I spent the summer outside getting exercise with a given purpose, which was to do my job for once in my life without burning fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. And that is very satisfying. But what's even more satisfying is who knew outdoors, fresh air, sunshine, <laughs> seeing Wisconsin turn from spring to summer to fall, like firsthand. Cool. That was the happiest cool. time of my life so far. It was great. Well, thanks. We know you drove here today. Yeah, I, oh, So yeah. we'll forgive you. Yeah. But thanks again, Peter. You've got a couple more for Thank us. Thank you. I, I do. I do. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you, Andy. Here's a, a tune called Dynamite Bill. 
who refers to a real, uh, real guy. He was a demolitions guy from World War I who lived up in Fond du Lac County. And he blew up a boulder behind my dad's house when my dad was maybe eight or nine years old. Uh, and his name was Dynamite Bill, and that's what he did. He blew things up. He also, apparently, if a horse or a cow died, he'd haul it off your farm and process it process it into meat for the mink farmers to feed to their mink. I deduce from this that the 40s were an interesting time. So. This is another tune I wrote with Tim Guerin, and it mostly concerns our main character, the stranger, and who she's looking for. She finds our, our dynamite pill. She was just a stranger, a stranger, she was just a stranger too. She was just a stranger, a stranger, she was just a stranger too. She was just a stranger, a stranger, came into town looking for a manger. She was a stranger, she wasn't looking for you. She was shining like the city light, shining like the city light, the light of a city by the sea. Shining like the city light, pretty like the light of a city by a shining sea. Shining like the city light, and I was half lit up like a half ass Christmas tree. Shining like the city light, she wasn't looking for me. was January Medley, January Medley, she run off with Muhammad Ali. January Medley, Medley, run off with a little boy Muhammad Ali. January Medley, not particularly deadly, she was shining like the light of a city by the sea. January Medley, she ran off with Muhammad Ali. She was looking for Dynamite Bill, Dynamite Bill, he was standing in the back of the room. Dynamite Bill, Dynamite Bill, standing in the back of the room. Funny how you never think you're gonna need no Dynamite Bill, till someday something happen and you find you will need Dynamite Bill because you gotta make something go boom. January Medley and Dynamite Bill and the little boy Muhammad Ali they ran off to Honolulu or maybe Astabulo or maybe just as far as the eye can see with Dynamite Bill they might be living there still at least that's what a little birdie whispered to me January Medley Dynamite Bill Muhammad Ali mm, she was a stranger she was just a stranger too she was just a stranger a stranger, she was just a stranger too She was just a stranger with an element of danger She came into town just a looking for a manger She was a stranger, she wasn't looking She was a stranger, she wasn't looking for She was just a stranger, she wasn't looking for you <laughs> All right, that one was a lark uh, Here's a tune, I'll finish up with this This is a uh, Got a much narrower scope. Uh, this is a song about a shirt, and it's called Shirt. Thank you so much for having me. I want to thank the whole crew here who are making all this magic happen. They're all, they're all giving you the thumbs up right now uh, from behind their, uh, from behind their equipment. I want you to feel swaddled in their love. Light a fire, burn up all you know You've had time, time, time You've had time to let things go Now you're burning letters Out there in the snow in your backyard 
Don't these years go rolling your 33? Ain't it time for the cross? Time for the body tree? Still you'd like to cry every time you skin your knee. <laughs> it's hard. But it's the same old friends on New Year's Eve. The same snow will fall on the same old leaves. There's the same old joy and there's the same old hurts. Same old corduroy shirts. And the skateboard girls Oh, your rusty brain cells Give you a twirl Oh, no I have a kitchen radio Coffee on And I could use a month or two Just to lean upon But this open road Wants to get me gone Off I go It's the same old jar of car keys by the door. The same old scuffed up floor. Same old thirst for more until they put me in the dirt. Oh, it's the same old nights alone. It's the same old baby. When will you be coming home? Don't you want to feel the same old joy? Feel the same old hurts Same old corduroy shirts Same old corduroy shirts Thank you. was only this. Usually you got the producer and the guy interviewing. That's all. Ready on I'm sorry to interrupt. Shall we? The trouble with poets is they talk too much. Poets tell us how it hurts them, and it hurts them just a little more. And we cannot tell, cause maybe they make that stuff up. We've never stood in those shoes, in those skins, in those heads, on those shores. The trouble with you, you drive me nuts. I cannot tell, what is that just behind your smile? Poet, give us something just to lift us up Just vote tonight for a time For the sake of us all for a while I know it's only trouble I know trouble makes us real But I wish 
the peace of mind was a little something I could steal. The trouble with shoes is they come untied. And you might take a fall down some stairs. And Sylvia Plath might come along and she might say, well, that's just like life. The trouble with poets is they'll see poetry everywhere. I know, I know, it's only trouble. Here I am once again at the bottom of the stairs, begging you, Sylvia, please, for a few small repairs. Trouble with time is time don't go back. Maybe that's just a trouble with you and me. For I am so scared of that long fade to black that I'll push and I'll pull and I'll do almost anything to be free. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I push and I struggle, I know. I know it's just the deal And I know it's only trouble Don't I know trouble's what makes us real But I know sometimes nobody knows Nobody knows Not even the saints and the poets know how we feel trouble with poets is they talk, they talk, they talk too much. Let us go then, you and I, as the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized on a table. They talk too much, oh, to be public like a frog, they talk too much. I met a traveler from an antique land who said two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. They talk too much, 